Hello, in this video we're going to drive the moments of a normal distribution um, from scratch. And the reason I'm doing it is I'm going to drive the mean and the variance of a non-central chi-square distribution and I'm going to refer back to this. Now in this video we use some identities that we derived in this video. Derivatives of a normal density, useful identities. We showed that the, the first derivative of a normal density is equal to this. And also we showed some limiting signs that if you have x times a normal density, let x go to infinity, this is zero. Same if it's squared or cubed, these all limit to zero. And this is, uh, we derived them in this video here. So let's jump right in. So here we have the mean of x, which by definition is x times the density integrated over all possible values of x. Now, if we add zero to this, it doesn't change the, the value. So we're going to add and subtract this quantity here. And then the reason we do that is we combine these. So we factor out an, a, an f of x. So we're left with x minus mu. And then if we divide multiply by uh, sigma squared, and then we m multiply by minus 1, multiply mi minus 1, and this piece we just carry down. And we do that because this is, you can plug in the derivative. And then over here, you can factor out a mu, and the normal density integrates to 1, so we can just plug in 1 there and we get mu. But this piece, um, we, we can we can take the antiderivative of, right? Because it's already the derivative. So then the antiderivative of this is just the density. And of course we evaluate it at its limits. And the density, you know, as you it's a bell curve, you know, and if you go out to infinity, this it limits to zero, and this limits to zero. So that when you plug in those you get zero minus zero. So this goes away, we're left with mu. And that's the mean of a, a normal distribution, which we know that to be true. So now let's look at the second moment of a normal distribution. So by definition, it's this. Now we're going to add and subtract something. To, we're going to add zero, basically. But here, then we can factor out an x squared, uh, f of x. Here we'll just leave it as is, right? But over here we factor it out and we get x squared minus mu x. And so this, so this is what we get from here. But then we multiply by 1, you know, multiply by sigma squared, divide by sigma squared, multiply by minus 1, multiply by minus 1. So this piece is these two. And the reason we do that is this this piece here is the first derivative you know the minus of it um, so here oh here we get come down but then this is just the mean so we know it's mu so it's mu squared so now we have to look at this and we and we evaluate this by integration by parts so let u equal x and uh, dv equal this part. So we get, one, you know, derivative of x, just dx. So this is v, f of x. And then, you, then we plug it in. So this is uv here, evaluated at its limits. And this part here, in the video here, we showed that this is 0. And then we have... Um, VDU, which is this part, and don't forget the minus. Well, this is 1, right? But then you have to take, so it's minus 1, then you take it times minus sigma squared, and you get sigma squared, and then don't forget the mu. And this is it. And so we know that is the second moment of a normal distribution. Uh, the third moment is, it. this is going to be repeating 
rinse and repeat or you know, whatever that expression is. So we're going, we're going to add zero. And then this piece we're going to factor into this part. And this part will just come down. Now see, we already did this piece up here. So we'll be able to just plug it in. Now here, this is the uh, first derivative of a density. So we, we get this. And, and we just plugged in the second moment here. But then we, we use integration by parts, which, which is this, plug it in. This piece is zero, as we showed in the previous video. Here, this is the mean. So we get minus 2 mu. And, but then we take it times minus sigma squared. And then this comes down and that comes down. So we plug in, where we, this is 0, this is minus 2 mu. Of course, bring everything down. Multiply that in, reduce, and we get this. 3 mu sigma squared plus mu cubed. Now the fourth power, again, it's going to be rinse and repeat. So we're going to, this is the fourth moment, add zero. This piece here, we're going to factor over here. This comes down. Now we just calculated the third moment, so we'll be able to just substitute. Over here we use, um, oh, so this is the derivative. And then here we just factored in. Now we use integration by parts, u and dv. Then we then we plug them in, so uv is this, vdu is this. Um, this goes to zero, as we showed in the previous video. Um, this is the second moment, which we calculated previously. Uh, the rest of this just comes down. Zero, so we have to take the minus sigma squared times this. Well, first I'd, we just plug in what it is, and then take it times it these just come down this reduces to this and so that's the fourth moment of a normal distribution and that's all I have for today and I stop there because that's all I need for when I drive the mean and the variance of a non central chi squared hope you enjoyed it I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye